Good morning, and I'm George Onyibe. Without wasting much of our time, I will try as much as I can to present, comprehensively present this discussion to our people across the globe. First of all, those of you on YouTube, I've not been there for a while now, but this video is somehow dedicated to the people on YouTube. I'll attend my work on the YouTube any moment from now. And so the reason I've not been active there is because there was a shift in transition. I stopped being a Biafran and now I am a dedicated Nigeria. Of course, all we have been trying to prevent is war, which we all know that like every other war, which is ignited by the single desire for all that to control your land and your water. Just the same way these wars have been forged over the century. It's the same war we are fighting to defend our land from those people who want to control our land and our water, invariably controlling our life, taking away our God-given free will, preventing us from being the author of our own destiny. And so you will be getting my update on YouTube any moment from now. And those of you on TikTok, you will see that my message on TikTok is not a complete message. And so I will encourage you, if you are from the South-South, if you are from Anyoma, you are from Eka, follow George Onyibi on TikTok. Let's hit 1,000 so that I can be going live on there. Of course, my Twitter handle is there. It's still George Onyibi. My YouTube is still George Onyibi. My Facebook page is still George Onyibi. And this is because we must be able to drive our message to a conclusive end where in the end, we will save all of us from all of us. And this having been said, I want to quickly address a message I simply titled, Addressing the Issue of Insecurity in Nigeria. You see, it is important we don't speak big, big grammar, and thereby losing the true message behind our presentation. Because every level of grammar that does not communicate to the people is useless. When we talk about the issue of insecurity, it is ordinarily accepted as a place, a process, a system, a situation where certain group of unguided individuals pick up an ammunition, begin to rob, kill, and cause mayhem in the society. No, if you see that as insecurity, of course, most Nigerians see it that way. That is the only problem why we've not been able to solve the challenges or of insecurity in Nigeria. Now, you must understand the factors behind that term, insecurity. We have psychological factor which contribute to the insecurity we are facing as Africans, as Nigerians, and all the wise. And then we have social factor that contribute to insecurity. We have external factor that contribute to insecurity. We have five factors that contribute to insecurity. But then I am dealing with the external factor. I'm not talking about the personal factor. But despite all factors that lead to insecurity that I've mentioned, you must understand that to solve them, we must go back and address the real root cause of insecurity. This is where every effort to cobble insecurity in Nigeria has proved abortive. And that is where we come in. And so if you are listening to this broadcast, we are talking about insecurity. I want us to focus on the external factor of insecurity. It's process where people, from for self reasons, initiate insecurity, and then they make our life miserable. That one is the one that is obvious. But the insecurity that we are truly fighting are not obvious. You cannot see them. But it will rip us apart when we least know. And before we could fight back, that would be the end of us. Let's look at the root cause of insecurity, first of all, on the external factor. If you watch the back, they can be attacking it, but we are not going anywhere. 
I am their destiny and I am their doom. And so let's come back. Looking at the usual insecurity you know of, go to Nandekano wife page. You will notice that recently she has started becoming diplomatic. She has started becoming a Nigerian. Believe me, the last person I would have want to talk to in this issue is Nandekano wife. Nandekano wife, the father is a pastor, a reverend like me. He's my friend. He used to come to my house until he stopped coming. And I found out that Nande Kano asked him not to come to my house again. Tell you Chichi Kano that this is true. Okay, but that does not mean that because she's a woman, when she become a criminal, I will not tell our people to be wary of them. Nande Kano wife was sent by Nande Kano claiming to be in DSS dungeon to go and beg the former HUD, to go and beg the former DOS, to go and beg Asari Dokobo, and all the people they have offended so that they can put pressure together to help release him from Tinubu. And all of them are playing to the gallery already. But I'm waiting for them. Let them bring out their body. I am their destiny. I am their doom. And now, the point now is, why did I bring it up? They say Asari Dokobo is a criminal. They say on, on, on Niger Delta Avengers are common picking pockets. The Sasari Dokobo is a useless man. And now they've gone to beg Asari Dokobo. Tomorrow Asari Dokobo will say, free now the cannon or bring security to the south is sky. We are not children, no. The earlier you people do the right thing, the better for all of us. Uche na Shebu Miu Miu. Who is the mediator between Igbo people and Ejo people? Because he know the game is playing with Asare. He has gone to romance Asare. Let's support on the cannon. All of a sudden, Uche na Shebu has forgotten what happened to Chukwe Mekailuanya. Chukwe Mekailuanya, the last time I talked to him as a Biafra, and I begged him to obey Nan the Kano. Chukwe Meka, Dr. Clifford Chukwe Meka Iluanya told me, you will not understand. Today, I understand. Dr. Clifford Chukwe Meka Iluanya, if they call you to come and help fight for Nan the Kano, and then you think somewhere, oh, wanyanye, can you, wanyaka, you are part of the people that betray Igbo people. And then when they finish, they will come and beg Obidi Obinu and beg Uchuka for me for. And maybe all of you will, you will now conjure and then you fight Tinubu. We are waiting for all of you. You see that we tell our people the truth. Or somewhere along the line, we will offset the balance. And now, go to the Kano Twitter handle. You see, she's becoming more Nigeria. They are getting closer. Ojuku wife now is a minister. They are coming closer, but Tinubu is what they want to destroy. Tinubu can enslave us. Tinubu can buy us. Tinubu can do what we like. If God did not take his life, he will be there for the next eight years. This is a promise we have made all of you. Because the same way this war is being forged, the same way this insecurity is being forged, this is the same way it has been from inception, from time immemorial. It is the demand to control our land and our water. Maybe you understand what it means. So Nande Kano came. He couldn't control us. He could not control our land. He could not control our water. And what did they do? They introduced insecurity. They called them Eastern security. They called them unknown gunmen. They called them autopilot. They called them dead man walking. They called them volunteer. They called them BSS. They called them different name, Lion Squad. You know what I'm talking about. What did they give to the Southeast insecurity? And so how can you solve that problem of insecurity 